Hello guys, it's Ina and my mom Lena. Привет. Hi. So today we are going shopping as you requested. So we will go to uh, quite a big supermarket, hypermarket called Ake. <laughs> she is trying to escape from me because she's shy. <laughs> so we are going to buy something. Нам надо что-то купить. Что ты хочешь купить? What do you, what do you want? Okay, she needs to go to the pharmacy. I have my own list of things. It's not like any necessity that I actually need right now, but there is a list. So I'm going to read it in Russian and you try to guess it in English. And let's see if my mom can translate it to English. Let's try. Number one, шоколад. <laughs> Chocolate, okay, chocolate. Oh, I should, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say. But say louder. Громче тогда говори. Прокладки. She told me, oh my god, don't tell anyone. Okay, next one. Рисовая бумага. Okay, so she says she doesn't know. You're not in the camera still. The so next one is. Анчоусы. How do you say it in English? Анчоусы это огурчики. Okay, so she said it's um, pickles. Next one, кукуруза. Кукуруза. Она из Африки кукуруза. She said a corn in Africa is still corn. Вот как мы говорим по-английски кукуруза? По-русски мы говорим кукуруза. А хорошо по-американски. У индейцев, как ее называют? Uh, На М. Маис. Маис, окей. So she said it's maize. Next one. Соевый соус. She said it is, it is like it is. And she is correct. Правильно. Next one. Китайские палочки. Так бамбуковые есть палочки. Okay, she said bamboo палочки. So let's try to see what it, it is exactly. And oh, one more. Корица. Корица. Есть корица. Okay, so we Прямость. think uh, корица is uh, корица. <laughs> so we will figure it out. In the store, I'm going to show you everything. <laughs> she is laughing. So my mom, she has never learned English in her whole life. The only time when she learned a foreign language was it was German at school, so don't judge as much. <laughs> Just a real life with a real knowledge. Yeah, it's me again. So this video is going to be super long, super detailed how all Russian okay not all, but how many Russians pick their food in real life at real stores. So prepare yourself for a very long video. Обязательно запаивать. Я просто не знаю. Короче, давай возьмем тележку или корзинку, где она берется, и просто туда положим. А как открывать? Эй, иди помогай мне. А они потом возвращаются? А у меня там. Все, пойдем в корзинку. Где корзинки? А. -а, -а. Тут yes. цена хорошая? Хорошая. 289.99 per kilo pork. Ну ты же покупаешь на рынке за 250. Да. Почему это тогда ну, хорошо? Для магазина это нормальная цена. Okay. Because my mom, she buys stuff at the market, pork, for 250 rubles per kilo. So it's kind of... 
more expensive here olive oil 470 rubles per half a liter extra virgin she said it's really good funchosa so basically at the vermichelle 80 rubles no it's the niesh я этим 10 лет питалась. Какое? Из рисовой муки. Лапша из рисовой муки. Сейчас что тут? Акция. Action. Так, сенсей. Классический соевый соус. 59 рублей. 250, да. Правильно, подожди, я надо посмотреть. Запоминай цену. Мы еще потом посмотрим, где дешевле будет. 60 рублей, грубо говоря. Окей, 60 рублей. Что тут? Терияки сладкие, нет? different teas and coffees in action so this is a french brand lavazza you can buy it here some sweets and some alcohol you can see martini what's this mandora prosecco italy a lot of wines again martini And a lot of different other wine and uh, stuff. So, I'm curious, where is this for? from? Грузия? Похоже на Грузию. Десертное вино. Но я спрашиваю, Грузия? Сербия. Oh, Serbian wine. So my mom says this Ch Chateau Taman is really great. It's a pink, semi-sweet, sparkling wine. Yeah, I know. Rosé. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. So Georgian, Alazanska Dalina and uh, Kins Marauli. This is much bigger. Это прям здоровая такая. А твое какое любимое? Ты грузинское не любишь? Раньше была Ванчкара. She said that she used to like Ванчкара, but they don't have it here. Okay, let's go. Campari. That's a liquor. Liquor chicken. Yeah. Negroni, mojito, French wine. So basically, sanctions are fake. We have everything. Ладно, Francesco Vosnitz. Запомнили. Кукуруза это хорошая цена. Почему? Меня как-то отбрали, она из восстановленная, из сухих э, oh. восстановлена, она очень жесткая. Okay, so my mom said that once she took this uh, corn and it was kind of rehydrated from the dry canals and it was horrible and uh, bad изготовления июнь месяц когда закатывают их из 
свежего урожая. Okay, so this was made in uh, September, and my mom said you need to pick can and uh, sorry, corn and green peas with the date of June, July. It's when they actually grow and uh, they can the fresh pro produce. Сейчас креветки. Аргентинские, аргентинские креветки. И они, по сути, 1000 рублей за килограмм, фрозен. И у нас есть салмон, тоже 1000 рублей за килограмм. Now it's time to check cat food. Yeah, so it's a uh, good price, 22-23 rubles per, kilo, uh, per bag. And other little shops they sell for maybe 26-28 rubles. And the whiskers is a little bit more expensive, like 25 rubles per bag. There, is, there are some cheaper brands like Felix for 21. Сколько берешь? Ну, пока шесть. Сейчас еще посмотрим. So we are taking six, and we take turkey and beef. Turkey and beef. And she's taking some lamb. Okay. So what else? Okay, there is a two of duck and two of lamb. So our cats like jellies. So, yeah, we don't buy dry food. Книги, uh, the books. I don't think it's there will be good ones. My mom says people read a lot of books. Mm. Quite expensive, like what's okay? It, this is like encyclopedia, one thousand four hundred. Okay, this is interesting. This is a notebook that. Every student who ever went to Russian school has. So we have uh, lined notebooks for Russian and literature classes. And at the back we have the cursive writing. They also have English here, but usually we don't. And let's find uh, the one for mathematics. Подожди, на математике тетрадка. Это все в линию, а нам нужно в клеточку. So these are also other lined notebooks for primary school, for grade one and two, when kids are only learning how to write. So they will have the perfect incline and perfect handwriting. Not like that I have it, but still. Математику видишь? Да. Окей, so basically I can't find the... Окей, okay, so basically the same ones, like, like those greens we have for math, and they are lined with squares, and at the end there is always the timetable and sometimes the units, like one kilometer, one decimeter, one meter, one ton, and so on. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Пойдем. Let's go. Okay, one thing. Ручки. А дешевые ручки есть? А вот. Ну погоди, мне нужна цена. Okay. The cheapest, the cheapest pen is 30 rubles and uh, сколько лет назад? 
And maybe three years or four years ago, there were like maybe six rubles. And now there are 30 rubles per pen. Okay, my mom has to check the tissues and napkins because she uses them in her craft making. And they are quite expensive. So this one is 130 rubles, 209 rubles. Basically, you can't find anything cheaper than 100 rubles. That is crazy. Let's see, how much? А дешевых нету? Так. А, окей, the cheaper ones, the for daily use, they're not here. This is more like a party oil. And here are the pans, the pans for the pancakes or blini. So usually the pancake um, pans are very thin like this one and uh, they could be very light. But this one is quite heavy. The price is 1,500 rubles and I assume it's a non-sticky one. It feels good in the arm. I kind of like it. Okay, some dishes that we don't need more pans and pots that we don't need some foil let's go Forms. everything for the bathroom again we don't need it so here everything for washing the stuff like uh, laundry again we don't need it <laughs> and here's all of the makeup and stuff we don't need it okay not makeup shampoos and here toothpaste okay i will i will go so here some protein stuff i don't really buy that and it's funny that it's located next to the shower gels because it's not that popular so a lot of things so if you want to buy your gillette cassettes just as example there is like uh, four cassettes they cost 1700 rubles so quite expensive and dio sticks about 244 rubles, 229, 170 rubles. So you can find some cheaper, some more expensive, but in general, they are not cheap. Okay. Da 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 da. So if we look at our list, and we have number two, Prakladki. And we're standing just in front of them. So you can <laughs> guess now what are they. I hope you know. So Prakladki means pads, sanitary pads. I'm not really picky, so I'll just pick something, whatever is available, the cheapest. So I can see 99 rubles for 10 pieces, 98. I used to buy Naturella or Always, but they are quite expensive. Okay. Okay, next one. Oh, Mukka. Это не карнишон, это не угадала. Okay, sugar, sugar. No, it's not olives. It's not olives. Cucurruza. What cucurruza are we going to buy? Heinz. 90 rubles. 
Окей, 68 рублей. Бандуэль. 144. My mom said we'll pick something, someone locally. Lo from local producers. Green, green Ray. 109. Фрау Марта, 70. What do you check? Ага, она вот это август. Август. Так, дядя Ваня в зернах. Октябрь. Октябрь. Ага, here is we can check. Okay. Ninth, ninth, ninth. So it's really good. You can easily see when it was produced. So ninth, ninth. Everything is ninth. It's like the same. Green ray. Ah, вот это июньская. Мам. Месяц. Вот это июнь. Так. Читай, не восстановленный, чтобы было. Okay, she told me to read that it will be not dehydrated, not hydrated. Состав: кукуруза, вода, сахар, соль. Не Нету такого. А где оно должно быть? Тут про это ничего не написано. Okay, who has produced it? Поставщики в Республике Беларусь. Окей, okay, you can for four years. Uh, кубанский консервный комбинат. Окей, okay, so we're taking this. Because it's June. And we're taking it. Вот это производитель. А, ну, no. или это, это август, да? Это август. Вот этот, посмотри, производитель. Oh. Вот Just wait. Но это же горохом. Мне кукуруза нужна. Mm. Что ты мне горох даешь? She gave yeah. me green peas. Yeah. <laughs> мне нужен. <laughs> мне кукуруза нужна. Okay, so this is August again. Откуда я знаю? How... Нету. Okay, this one is 10th, so no. Короче, я беру вот эту шесть суток и все. I'm taking this and I'm tired. So, 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 brown sugar. 280 rubles. But it was not in my list. Okay, mukha, mukha. This is flour wheat flour and it is what I usually used to buy it's like 130 rubles per two kilos let's go Ду -ду -ду -ду. мука рисовая so I had it рисовая мука but this is not what I needed I think it's uh, not Glutinous. I need glutinous. Let's check. I just wanted to make some moti. I don't see. I don't see. So it says for noodles, for sweet bakery, for pancakes and for bread. It's 86 rubles. 
And here is another one that is, uh, oh, okay, without gene-modified stuff. So this is protein, this is fat, this is carbohydrates, and I don't see anything about gluten. Because we want a lot of gluten. Okay, we can take it and if we don't if we find something better we can put it back. Different jellies. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Karitsa. Karitsa is come here. Karitsa. Repeat after, okay. repeat after me. Повторяй за мной. Cinnamon. 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 Корица. Cinnamon. It costs 36 rubles per bag for 8 grams. Here is 18 for 15 grams. Oh, this is uh, at the палочка. This one is in tubes. I don't need this one. Мне нужна молотая. So 15 grams 30, 15 grams 18. Да-да, дешевле. Пятнадцать, fifteen. А у нас есть дома корица? Нет. Значит, теперь будет. Так. So these are the waffles. You can make waffle cakes. They're very delicious. I really love them. They were like my favorite cakes. Не тут. Анчоса не тут. She hasn't guessed what Анчоса is. <laughs> Because actually in Russia we have a different name for that. So we don't call them anchoas. Like when you go to a pizza place, they will say anchoas, but in other places, no. Okay, mom said we need to buy rice. It is rice. 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 <laughs> so English lessons. <laughs> Free English lessons. Two trees. Rice, 150 за 800 грамм. This is uh, actually supposed to be almost illegal. I think Russia wanted to make it like uh, that for staple food like rice, maybe flour. You can make it packages only of one kilogram or even to that, like one, two, three, four, five, and like eight or nine hundred grams. So these are quite expensive. So we decided to buy rice online so we could check easily and compare prices because at the supermarket they're still kind of expensive. Mm. Ah, da. So these are the sweet corn sticks. My mom really loves them. They look like this inside. Some dry cakes. Bonjour. Here. Oh, zephyr. <laughs> zephyr. It's a Russian style marshmallow that is really sweet and it's not as soft as marshmallow. It's more texturized. Какой будем брать? Так, нашу ванильку. We usually take Belovsky, but we can't really find it here, so we have to choose something else. 
Коломенский. Что мы, на что мы обращаем внимание, когда выбираем зефир? So when we buy zephyr, we have to check how much uh, apple puree is there. So if like here we have сахар, патока, патока, крахмальное пюре, so it means sugar, kind of syrup, and only after is the puree. It means the majority of the ingredients is sugar, so this is not good. The яблочное пюре should be always in the first place. So let's check here. Here again, сахар, патока, пюре. It's not good. Сладкие истории с клюквой. So this is with the lingonberry. No, with cranberry. Сахар, вода, патока, нет. А что, особо выбирать нечего. Так, я тоже почитала, там сахар на первом месте. И тут тоже сахар на первом месте. Сахар, патока. Так, ладно. Окей. Сахар, патока. This one. Сахар, патока. Нет. Сахар, патока. Сахар, патока. А в Белевском нету. О, oh, вот тут нету. Сахар, яблочное пюре, а патока уже на третьем месте. Нет, нет, все равно нет. О, oh. все. Oh, It means no desserts for us, no зефир. Okay. Пошли, о, oh, шоколад. Я завтра иду к Свете, мне нужен шоколад. Не, мне нужно шоколадку определенную, воздушную. Ну, я еще смотрю, что тут есть. We're checking everything. So, these are famous candies, basically uh, about the bear, <laughs> and it's 300 rubles per, per bag, that is 200 grams. Okay, my mom said it's going to be even more expensive. For 30% more expensive. This is what's going on. Why is it only 85 grams? Such a small one. It used to be a hundred or 125 grams. white bubbly chocolate okay coffee so we have snickers sour pencils 150 chupa chups has not left russia 175 rubles Mamba hasn't left. Ten and Dems hasn't left. Skittles still here. Skittles a bag for 87 rubles. Avocado. So 700 grams. It's one package. 320 rubles. And they're very hard. They're rock hard.
different sausages and this side we have different bologna sausages and the average one is like 330 per kilo 380 and you can see there are a lot of sausages here this is ham i think and a lot of stuff but uh, so here we have different pastes and cheeses like cream cheese i actually need cream cheese if i'm going to try to make uh, to make to make what moti so this one 250 it's mascarpone 120 no this is Hochland. it's not this this is gabani so you have to be really careful with prices when you're buying stuff okay here is cream cheese Hochland. where 425 oh. 131 it's a small one okay we can take this one and let's double check the ingredients so tvarok quarter cheese milk cream ferments and cheeses okay pretty good so here we have a lot of different fetas and uh, russian style feta it's called brinza a very salty cheese eggs 125 per uh, per 10 so 82 for six so different ones so the butter yeah they don't have butter that my mom wants to buy she wants to have this brand but big bigger one like 400 grams and it should be 82.5 percent fat ah, but it's different and it's another brand а как ты думаешь, что такое анчоус? Ну, а что ты мне говорила, корнишоны? So now she tell, tells me that it's a fish, but I was like, why did you tell me that uh, it was uh, a pickle? And she's like, just got confused. Okay, so this is uh, basically low price stuff. You can see this oh, red stickers minus 40%. So these are chicken stomachs, 500 grams. In Russia, we like to eat some products and all of the intestines and organs. That's very interesting. Frozen fish, boring. This is interesting. Smoked fish. Basically, all the prices are per 100 grams, and it's like from 70 to 90 hundred grams. And this is the Russian classics, the dry fish. We like to eat it with <laughs> beer. So this one is Taran, 100 grams, 60, basically 70 rubles. Here are fish, fish chips, 145 rubles per 100 grams. Expensive. And I still haven't found anchoas, but maybe it will be somewhere else. So ice creams, like 80, 90 rubles. I don't want mороженое. My mom can't understand why I don't want to eat ice cream. Because I'm losing weight. So we're going to buy vareniki. 
these are vegetarian dumplings so this is frozen stuff and then 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 different dumplings 380 350 it's per bag Вареники с картофелем. Okay, she says the good brand is Torres, and this is Agricomplex. She doesn't like it, but anyway, the price is for 450 grams, 45 rubles. I just round up a little bit for you. Don't. Ну что, нашла? Значит, здесь не поставляют. А там тебе не нравится что-то? Вот это вареники с картофелем и грибами, с адыгейским сыром. Вареники с картофелем 70. А здесь вареники ручной лепки, handmade, 294 rubles. Что, какие берем? Жареным луком, без грибов. Сколько стоит? Они стоят 142 рубля. Почему ты выбрала эти? Нет, почему ты выбрала эти? Потому что здесь жареный лук, не грибы. Окей. Okay. Because it's uh, а почему творог плохой? Because it's Мы with fried onion. Смотри, а в чем разница между теми, например, или Ну я так смотрю. Она премиум класса больше относится. А почему бы не взять несколько таких? Да. Okay, she said if you buy this from Agrocomplex, they will basically become soggy quite fast. Давай попробуем. А мы сравним. So we're going to compare. These are cheap for 40, basically five rubles, and 450 grams. These are 600 grams for. 142 rubles. It's basically it's not almost it's more than double price. Almost triple price. This one will go with the cheap ones. Okay, half of it and we will go for more expensive ones. I did soliest. From a gimni shoot. I need to help some help. Okay. It should be enough, so let's see which will be better or worse. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, so this is our dining table, and you can see my mom is working, so this is her beautiful cutting board. And these are, oh, they're also very beautiful. And her paints and everything, and here she's preparing documents for my dad because tomorrow they're going to a hospital to do some medical check. And um, yeah, this is the dining table. <laughs> have a good dinner. Okay, so we have to boil for a couple of more minutes. You see these with the wavy ones, they are actually more expensive, and this one was not sealed well, this one the same, not sealed well. These are the cheaper ones. Again, this is more expensive one with a crack. So you could go just by how the dumplings look like while they while they're boiling. The cheaper ones are definitely better and like more expensive ones feels like they were more made in a more sloppy in a sloppier way and this is kind of I feel disgusted by that. And come on, it was three times more expensive. Okay, so here are the dumplings. My mom have tried and she already said her opinion and she said that one tastes like uh, real potatoes and uh, the dough is kind of softish 
and she likes it it's like more tender another one feels like um how we call it the dry potato puree that you have to rehydrate with hot water but we're going to try because i don't have any favorites so this one is the cheaper one with a straight kind of shape I would say the dough tastes good. Mm, the potato, it really tastes, it reminds me of those um, instant potatoes, that is true. And I do not feel any uh, fried onions. So now we'll take the more expensive ones with kind of uh, wrink, not wrinkly, with kind of flower shaped dumpling. So let's see, sour cream. I would say dough is uh, softer because they're kind of soggy and if you will just look by the shape, okay, uh, not by the shape, by the dough, it's kind of already with, um, it's kind of overcooked, overboiled, but they both for the same time. So actually the more expensive ones I even put a little bit later. So this is what I don't like about them, but let me try on the potato. Potato tastes real, like even with some pieces. And okay, I'm going to use my hands. So this one is more expensive one. The potato is yellowish and this is the cheaper one. Potato is a whitish. Yeah, and the cheaper ones, the filling feels not as delicious, but when you're hungry, you won't feel the difference, but it's very smooth. It's like, yeah, not real. I would say, yes, there is a difference. Taste-wise, there is, but the dough wise i really don't like the dough of the more expensive ones because they're almost like mm, with pores i don't know if you can see it but i can see it's kind of not an even surface i don't like it and the cheaper ones they have better dough but uh worse feeling now you can taste the difference even without looking so more expensive they are more expensive for a reason Подскажите, пожалуйста, а где рыбные консервы? Рыбные консервы напротив. Ага. А анчоусы они будут там же или в холодильнике? Ага, спасибо. А, ну да. Рыба. Окей, so we have a lot of caviar, and you can see it's locked in the boxes, and prices are basically. 490 rubles for a small jar. And what is this? This is Piva SSSR, beer. Crop Piva, 76 rubles. Mm. Я не помню. Мне кажется, ты сказала, что ее нельзя отправлять. В Китай ты присылала, но не во Вьетнам. Yeah, my mom uh, sent me one of these jars to China. <laughs> it was very delicious. But when I was in Vietnam, she couldn't send it. It was prohibited. Yeah, there are many different flavors and here different pastes. Okay, anchose. So honey, gems, okay, riba. Herring, 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 herring. So the difference between Russian and Swedish herring that Russian herring is sour and uh, Swedish one is sweet. Okay, anchose. <laughs> anchose in oil. Yeah, one. I'm 160 rubles. 
анчоусы. Надо... Другое имя у нас по-русски – хамса. Это то же самое. Я бы сказала, господи, за такую помощь сколько давай, как на рынке купить ее на развес. Так это в... В... блюдо шведское. Я хочу сделать шведское блюдо. My mom says it's super expensive, and there is another name, a Russian name for this. Uh, we have another name for this fish that's called хамса. Это килька. It's not. It's not anchovies. It's different. Это другое. And uh, she says that this jar is so tiny, so expensive, and if we go to the market, we can buy just regular fish called хамса, like full, full and choices uh, like with a full body and we should buy that but the price is because it's already cleaned you don't have to do anything with it so let's have a look we can check the other side with canned food so here is beef pork this is what we usually take when we go to uh, camping pastes Fish liver, different fish liver, tuna in oil, 130 rubles. Тут смотри, может тоже будет какой-нибудь анчоус, тунец, миди, крил. There are so many types of fish that I honestly don't know how to say. These are moiva. I don't think it's the same. These are sardines. It's not the same. This is scumbria. This is a type of um, a herring. It's again not the same. Still fish, fish, fish. And still not the same. Мы берем ее. Это просто, чтобы показать шведское блюдо. It's only to show you the Swedish dish. Ну пошли. She is blackmailing me. She told me I have to buy her and dad an ice cream. Uh, no, we go together. Together. Mr. Повторяй. Together. 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 Значит, вместе. Серебристая? Серебристая? Сколько она стоит? Okay, 100, 150 рублей. 150 рублей for one. Ну, давай. А я хочу тогда лакомку. Я вот такую люблю. Окей. Uh, okay. so, my mom, she picked more expensive ice cream for herself. And dad and I were going to have the cheaper ones. А сколько это стоит? Лакомка. с печеньем, белая глазурь. А, не важно. Короче, на кассе узнаем. А погоди. Возьмем одну. She didn't want me to buy this one because she said, oh, we don't so eat it. It's not good. It's, but it's like, it should be exactly the same. <laughs> it's actually Kitaiska. So, original. Made in China. Zhaoyan City. No, just for interest. No, no, no. It's for interest. So, the regular tissues and napkins, 22 rubles per package. Technical break. Технический перерыв. О, 
нам повезло. Тут... Ой. Тут... А где мой кошелек? Так, один пакет забыла. С едой. Добрый. У нас, наверное, все и в рюкзак поместится. Не, у меня и сумка, и рюкзак. Надо дальше допаковать. Не, а сюда клади. Там еще места много. Чем у нас будет еще и сумка тащиться? Да. Семьсот рублей дать? Нет, семь рублей. Сейчас семь точно есть. А сумку мою забыла. Угу. Спасибо. Ну хорошо, пожалуйста, только эту сумку еще туда положи. Сейчас я пойду вообще покажу. Давай. А я посмотрю мороженое. My mom's ice cream is 140 rubles. And... Ду -ду -ду -ду. Basically, she... <laughs> mine is only 70 rubles and there is a mistake. Извините, пожалуйста, здесь ошибка в мороженом. Там два чистые линии, одна лакомка, а должно быть наоборот. Ну вот по чеку. Не знаю. Ну вот, я сейчас... Я тоже удивилась. Я просто не знала мороженое, цены на лакомку. И думаю, сейчас сяду, посмотрю. И вот так. Сейчас просто положить одну новую. А вы отмените все три из потом с три заново пробейте. А вот, да, возврат 139 был. Значит, мы не сумасшедшие.
Плюс он хочет купить это все. Мы же не будем все ждать через три покупки. Вот как она принесла, вот так она и хочет. Да. Так, это я убираю. Нет, это достать. А, как теперь смотри, можно было возврата, как было 139. Давай я напишу немножко, что там надо водить. 239, первый год. 139, 139, 139, 139, 139, 139, 139, 139, 139, 139, Целое мороженое. Спасибо. Не, не, у меня ничего, никаких этих. Это не вы. So I don't know if you got what happened. My mom is happy with her ice cream. It's really delicious, and I would say it's really worth it. One those 140 rubles that it costs. So basically, there was a glitch in the system, and uh, the scanner scanned two expensive ice creams and one cheap. And in reality, I got two cheaper ones and one expensive. And when she tried to rescan them, just to double check, and it says like, okay, it's, each ice cream has a QR code, so you can't really sell the same ice cream twice. And she checked, sold, sold, sold and everything was with the correct price and I saw it with my own eyes so we decided to do the I was already kind of tired and I was like okay I'll just give up you can keep the money just for you for your information so you'd know and she was like no 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 and I was like okay but it will melt it was my excuse and she just told me like no you go to the freezer and you take the new ice cream and you come here and I will give you the proper ice cream and uh, the change and everything. So basically, so basically, we return the ice cream and I will hold. She wants to go to a pharmacy, but uh, she doesn't want to go there with an ice cream. <laughs> but I'm going to eat it. Oh. Yeah. So the woman, she was like, no, no, give you all of the money. You go and get your new ice cream and uh, you come back and <laughs> we will do everything properly. So I was surprised. It was really nice. And uh, yeah, so we got proper ice cream. So this ice cream that I'm holding in the bag actually is my favorite ice cream called La Kamka. But it's uh, twice cheaper than the one my mom picked. But her ice cream is really good, but it's vanilla ice cream. Uh, and chocolate is more like real chocolate. Mine is more like a chocolate glaze that is thick and that melts in the mouth really fast. It's more like chocolate butter, if you may call it, if you wish so. Yeah, and actually in the store, <laughs> I taught my mom some English, <laughs> so it was fun. So they don't have? Нету? Есть, купила. А, купила. Сколько стоит? So she finally found the medicine that she was looking for. She was looking for uh, Citramon. It's basically a very basic painkiller, but for some reason it used to be like very cheap before. Like maybe 20 rubles per pack or something like that, 30. And now you can't find anything cheaper than 100. So it's kind of weird and when you go to a pharmacy and you just say okay give me this medicine they will always offer you the most expensive they'll say okay it's 160 rubles and you're like what 160 for citramon no way so you should always check what they have and you, you saw like my mom she was checking the app of one of the pharmacies and she was checking what is available for the best price and yeah so that's it so we bought almost everything so there was no rice paper for spring rolls there was kind of suspicious looking rice flour probably not what i'm going to use it for but still 
and uh, this is it for today thank you guys for staying with us and we're going to learn a new word bye 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> paka, paka. Paka, paka. see you in the next episode don't forget to write in the comments any questions and uh, bye bye, bye, bye.